on the last video. The old fairy did a bit of fairy. Yep, fairies, fairies, fairies! Fairy godparents! And now we continue. Yep. Oi, see. Where have you been all morning? Uh, enter. I know how to press keys. Out. Fair enough. If you see Gumdrop, could you, uh, ask her to run the register for a while? Business has been picking up, so I, uh, actually need the help. She isn't here? Uh, I thought she was with you. No, I... I might know where she went. Just keep working. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Not like I have any other choice. Oh well. I love him. Thunder's go just caught it! Yeah, well, it's the Candy Alchemist again. I need your help. You're the only people I can ask. I don't want Pestil to know anything about this. Oh, what it- what? What? What is it? I forgot how to do the country accent I was doing for Um, awkward. Uh, something serious. Need to bury a body. No, Gumdrop ran off. I think she went to Mount Sherbert to uh, Sorbet. It's Sorbet, not Sherbert. I Sorbet. Let's do it right. Sorbet. To get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever. You guys don't need to know the details. Ah, so that's where she was going. I saw her pass by and wondered. Yeah. What? Why didn't you stop her? I greeted her, but that girl was on a mission. She barely even told me where she was padding off to. She just pointed to the mountain and said that way. You should know I have a policy of never asking too many questions. Curiosity only leads to trouble for folks like me. Cause curiosity killed the cat. Unless cat. U useless cat. Unless. Unless cat. You know, it's not the phrase that would be said at a VN. <laughs> useless cat. At least that confirms she was definitely going in that direction. I wonder how far she got. You'd, you'd think something bad happened to her? What if she got eaten along the way? If it's too cold, she won't be able to move. And if she doesn't come home, Pest still will get all upset and probably blame me for it. She wants me to make this special recipe for him, and if he knew she was only trying to get the last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go, well, I guess I'd blame me too. Say no more. I'll help you find dear sweet gumdrop. But... Only if you give me a taste of whatever it is you're planning on making. Hmm. <sighs> like, she is a witch, so this, this is a pretty bad idea. But... If she goes, the cat probably goes, and I like the cat. <laughs> I like the cat so much. <sighs> Fine. I need magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste. That's it. Well, we'll... Yeah. We'll negotiate the terms later. Let's go get your candy bag. What about you, cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? No, thanks. That place is all snow and dogs. I can hardly stand the thought of it. I'm a city dweller at heart. Yeah. Damn it, I want the cat to go. Just wait right here for us, Toffee. We'll be back before you know it. Fuck, cow is the reason I wanted to go. Be safe. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Does he have the dokies for the witch? Oh my god, look at Syrup. Oh god, look at the little sweater. Over. Oh god, it's over her uh, little scientist coat thing, too. Oh, what a sweetie pie. I hate the cold. It's not that bad, but. I guess it's different for someone who's not protected by magic. <laughs> How about I bury you in the snow to see what your magic protection does against that? Oh, my dear Candy Alchemist, are we supposed to be partners on this little quest? You can't talk that way to a party member. Let's just get along. Ugh, not you too. Gumdrop's always insisting she wants to get along with me. Why do we need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do things on my 
my own way without annoying people trying to befriend me. Uh, uh, annoying? <laughs> I didn't say we should be friends. I just think it'd be best if we cooperate. Fair enough. This place can be pretty dangerous. I've read there's ferocious wolves that'll gang up on you and rip you to shreds. Wolves? I, I'm not afraid of any wolves. How about a whole pack? Do you think you could take them out with your magic? Uh, easily! Oh, really? You're trembling. But that's just because of the, the cold. Hey, what's that ahead? It, is it a wolf? A monster? Syrup, do something! I think we found Gumdrop. She's completely frozen. I wonder if she's conscious right now. Hey, candy idiot. I told you this would happen if you came up here. I'm lucky we found you. <gasps> oh! Oh, God! Oh, no! Look, look at it! Look at it! <sighs> oh, I don't know what voice to do. I don't know what voice to do for Wolf Baby. Um, let me think about this. So someone was looking for her. <clears throat> nah. So, someone was looking for her. W w w wolf Butterscotch, you're being rude. I've been watching this golem for a while now, wondering if anyone would show up to fetch her. Huh? You live around here? We actually came to find a special plant. Do you think you could take her to your house and to thaw while we go get it? I promise it won't be too long. Psst! Syrup! What if she eats her? Dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. See? Nothing to worry about. This way is a lot more convenient than taking her all the way home and then having to hike all the way back here for one little plant. I don't mind taking her in. Seeing her frozen in place for so long was kind of sad. We don't even know who you are. Why should we trust you with something as valuable as a living candy? Treat. Huh? That's my name. Now we're acquainted. Oh god, she's so cute! Look at her, she's so cute! Oh no! Alright, Butterscotch, do you have any other problems, or can we get going now? No, no, I'm glad that's all settled. Let's go find your rare ingredient, whatever it was, and go home. Sorry, she's more of a cat person. Syrup, right? I smell a pretty powerful spell on that witch. Is she really okay to be up here wasting that much magic? A spell? I don't know what you're talking about. I guess ordinary humans can't sense that kind of thing. It's plain as day to me. Anyway, it smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return your golem later. Sure, thanks. After receiving directions from Treat, the pair continues up the mountain. Syrup felt at ease, knowing Gumdrop was safe, but Butterscotch seemed to be having a rough time. Things only got worse as they ran into trouble. <laughs> ah! A real wolf! What are you doing, scaring off with your magic? Uh, well, t take this, monster! You turned it pink? That was supposed to be a fireball. I, I don't know what happened. Either way, I guess it worked. Lucky break. Mm. Butterscotch. You wouldn't happen to have, like, a curse on you or anything, right? R rude. I'm not cu cursed. I'm completely f fine. I just lost focus and messed up. It happens to everyone. Your teeth are chattering. Not for your magic protection against the cold. 
It's windy and maybe it's, it's as strong as I thought. Are you happy? Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie bun. Oh, no. Man, I'm a fucking sucker. Uh, do you want my coat? No, you you need it, don't you? I can make a sacrifice if it means you'll talk normally again. Mm. Oh, look at her, she's so cute! Great, now I'm gonna be freezing. Well, look at this cute little baby. Thanks, you're not as mean as I thought. Oh! Grr. It came back with more! It's time to go! Syrup and Butterscotch escape into a frozen cave. The witch hastily seals the entrance with ice, forcing the wolves to abandon their chase. Exhausted, the pair take a well-deserved rest. Hey, you alright? No, this is awful! I should have stayed home with Toffee where it's safe and warm. Well, at least we should be able to find what we're looking for in here. This is the exact environment Frosted Carmelia dies in. You can just chill here if you want. I'm going further in. How dare you make a joke in a time like this? You're as bad as Toffee. Syrup, wait, don't leave me alone! <laughs> Whoa. Yep, found it. J jerk, how could you leave me behind like that? I was. Is that what we came here for? Yeah, I just need to grab some of the fruit and we can go home. Good. Grab a ton so we don't have to come back. Um... You know... Got a bad feeling if I, uh... Do that, something bad will happen, because, you know, nature will be all out of, out of shenanigans, so I'm gonna take what I need. I don't have use for this many. And if I need more, we've got experience now. It won't be nearly as much trouble for us a second time, right? You'd want to go through all this again? I don't know. I think we made an alright team. But but all I did was mess up. We got what we came for, didn't we? Now let's get out of here. Um, hey, you look really cold. You should take your jacket back. Huh? Nah, don't worry about me. You're smaller. You need all the warmth you can get. Shorter people are closer to hell. I should be pretty warm. I don't feel right hogging it. It's your jacket, so j take it back already. If you insist. <laughs> Alright, magic the ice away so you can get out of here. Oh no. Right, take this! <laughs> uh, nothing's happening. Quit messing around and break the ice. What if the wolves are still there? I don't hear them or see their shadows. We should be fine. R right. Okay, for real this time. Yeah! Is something wrong? I'm just stressed out. So magic's not working right. Shut up. So we're trapped in here. N no, we're not trapped. I'm a great witch. It's just the stupid spell does want to happen, ha! Huh? Okay, we're a little trapped. <laughs> Magic is connected to your state of mind, right? Try and calm down. Calm? I'm calm as freak! Butterscotch. Everything's under control! My emotions are completely in check, so my magic should be working just fine! Butterscotch? What? Talk to me. What's wrong? I, I don't know. It's cold. What if I... Can't get out of here. I, are we gonna die because of me? No, you're a great witch, remember? We'll make it. But, but I can't even get the spell to work. Sealing the cave was an accident in the first place. I panicked and it just... Hey, you'll get it. You've got talent. If you could make gumdrop, you can melt the ice. So just take a deep breath and try again. I didn't... I didn't make gumdrop. I don't know who did. I just took the credit to make myself look better. So sorry you thought wrong. Stupid ice, stupid wall, stupid, stupid! 
<laughs> Butterscotch. Is your magic still going haywire because you look different? Wait. I. Oh, my spell came undone. Don't look at me! What? Th this body's just an illusion. It's not the real me. That's not very convincing. So. This is what she meant. That wolf girl from behind, from before, she told me you were wasting all your magic on some useless spell. It's not useless! I, I need it! I can't let anyone except Toffee see me this way. Please don't tell anyone. Why do you hide behind a transformation all the time? I don't see anything different. Did something change? I don't know, she's so cute as heck either way. Please don't take- Please don't take- Please people. Please people. People pleaser. People don't take you seriously when you look like I do. I want to be beautiful, fearsome witch that everyone admires, but instead I'm... I'm... You're... Everything about me is fake, alright? I'm always lying to everyone, I'm barely any good with magic, and I can't... can't even bear to let anyone see what I really look like. I'm never gonna die because I'm a big fat coward who could never tell you the truth. Are you happy? Hmm. Well... S say something! Aren't you gonna yell at me? Don't you hate me? <sighs> I can't be mean, I'm just... I can't. I don't... I don't hate you at all, Butterscotch. I never have. What, what are you saying? Sometimes I wonder why we're always fighting, and I guess... It's... Because that's the way you are. But it's not like I ever actually hated you. Y you're lying! Why would I lie? There's no point since we'll both be dead soon enough unless we figure out a way out of here, that is. But, I mean, I thought you hated anyone who can do magic. You do, don't you? That's not it. I just... I think that being able to do things without magic takes an incredible understanding of the world and its elements, and that's awesome. So when it feels like no one else sees that, I get frustrated. Maybe I don't trust magic users in general, but still. No, I've never hated you just for being a witch. Hmm? Why are you staring at me like that? Aren't you at least gonna make fun of me for looking like this? I don't see anything different. Did I like miss something? Cause she's still like cutie patoot. Like I don't. She's cute as hecky. Why should anyone care what you look like? It's not their business. You're not hurting anyone, so who cares? You, you just don't get it. Everyone thinks you're cool and you don't even have to try. You don't know what it's like. Hey, I try hard to be taken seriously too. Everyone sees my alchemy as a gimmick. It's like I'm doing cheap tricks compared to anyone else in the town that can do full magic, stuff like that, garbage. What? Well, anyone can make decent candy with magic, but yours tastes the best. Of course they do. I'm a genius when it comes to candy making. I mean, I put love into that, and love makes everything taste like at least 23 times better. Jeez. You're confident and just full of love, aren't you? Ah, man, we're gonna make out in the cave. Uh, I have to be, otherwise I'd just give up and do something boring with my life instead. Hey, remember the day we first met? When I came into your store to make fun of how bad your alchemy would make candy taste, but then you forced me to try a piece. You were so impressed that you begged me to teach you how to make them, but I was still mad so I refused and you <laughs> declared us rivals, so yeah, I definitely remember your little bitch ass. <laughs> I just think maybe if not for our big egos like Tony Stark up in here, we could have become friends sooner without, you know, being stuck in a cave. Yeah, maybe. Thanks, Syrup. I feel a lot better. My magic might work now, so I'm gonna give it another shot, because the power of friendship makes everything a lot better. With her mind at ease, Butterscotch is finally able to force... Force. Force. <laughs> yep. I'm the best narrator and melts away the wall of ice that had trapped the pair in the cavern. They make their way back down the mountain without incident to an unfrozen and very relieved gumdrop. Eager to get working on the ultimate suite, they promptly return Butterscotch to her cottage. <laughs>